Okay, so this is a condensed version of my testimony because a lot of people can't get through it to the end because of all the hell stuff in the beginning. <clears throat> so, basically, I my name is Gordon Graham and I was um, I'm born in Scotland. I was a musician for a lot of my life. Um, professionally, semi-professionally, whatever you want to, you know, different, had record deals and all that stuff. I was also somebody who was kind of like quite spiritually seeking. And by the age of 45, I'd kind of, my music career had completely crashed. Um, I, I'd kind of given up on ever finding the meaning to life and all that stuff. And I um, accidentally smoked something that I thought was just kind of very lightweight something and at a time when i hadn't really wasn't really doing anything like that i kind of wasn't living hard living or anything by that point in my life and i ended up overdosing and having this kind of hell experience so the point is i'm going to skip over that because i don't base my salvation on a drug overdose or a trip or whatever you want to call it but the point is that this shook me up, this experience, where I kind of had this out-of-body thing where I, I went to this place. And as a result, one of the things that pressed upon me um, was that <clears throat> it seemed to be pointing towards Christianity, the Christian God, Jesus Christ. That's what it seemed to be about, which I'd kind of thought about. It was in my big soup that I used to put everything else in, Buddha, meditation, you know, mysticism or everything else. Jesus was just another thing that I used to sort of ponder on. And, um, but I got, became quite concerned about it. So I went to a church and I spoke to a, you know, priest there, minister, what you would call it, pastor. And he, um, took me through a prayer and stuff. And I didn't think it was very, you know, mind blowing or anything like that. It just didn't really make any a difference to me but in this in the following week i started to feel very uneasy inside and i started to feel like I, it was necessary to somehow offload um things that i'd done wrong that might have offended god so i wasn't really sure what i was doing but i started to like kind of like quietly when there was nobody around going sorry lord for like when i i really like um you know, uh, hurt that person's feelings or when I was this or when I'd done that. Or I'd done, I was going through a bun bunch of things and I just kept doing that and I was thinking about it more and more and more. It's like something inside of me was stirring up. I was thinking, oh, there's something, something going on, but I didn't really know what to think. And I was in a small studio room that I had at the time with my musical equipment in there and I was sat in this chair um, at one side of the room and I was thinking on things and with no warning, out of nowhere, just like flash, I was kind of pushed out of the chair and on my face like that, like in a prayer position. And I just felt there was something before me, a person that was incredibly powerful and I kind of was feeling like it's God. It wasn't speaking to me but whatever it was doing was making me really aware of myself like at the deepest level. I was crying my eyes out. It was really sort of um, like cathartic in a way and it, it I wouldn't have known at the time but what I was feeling was holiness which meant it was it was magisterial. It was in. It was. Um, I, 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 you felt fear, but you also felt incredible sort of adoration, and it, it seemed like this is as good as it gets. It's like it's royal goodness or something like that. You, I felt like I was just entirely unworthy in its presence. It was like a, you know a higher order of something, but it was God. I felt this God thing going on. And it's, without words, it was impressing upon me. You've thought about Jesus. You've liked Jesus. Like when you were a kid, you saw things about Jesus. And it was like it was saying, that was enough. And ever since then, you've been denying him. And I knew it was true. 
deep down inside, I knew this was true. And I was crying with absolute remorse and regret. Like, please forgive me, please forgive me. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I was, I really, really meant it. It was real. And so this whole process has gone on for about, um, I don't know, it seemed like 20 minutes um, with God, basically. And as, as at a certain point, this thing, this kind of sense of this presence seemed to withdraw. But as it was going, it was like these words plonked into my head. Christ comes as a king, clothed in righteousness. How shall he lead you that you are not? No, Christ, because I'm sorry, Christ comes as a king, clothed in glory. How shall he lead you that you are not clothed in righteousness? And I'm thinking, what does that mean? And I'm thinking, you've just done this thing that I don't understand. And now you're kind of telling me like, there's something that, that I'm not doing right. How shall he lead you that you are not clothed in righteousness? I'm thinking, what does that mean? I picked up my laptop, wiping the snot and the tears off my face, completely in kind of some kind of stupor. And I looked up the word repentance for some random reason, which said, turning away from your sin, turning away from what you, you know, who you were and turning 180 degrees towards God. And somehow I thought, this is what I need to do. So I went down to the seafront, which is like 20 minutes, not less, that's five minutes from my house. And <clears throat> while the waves were crashing, I just said, to, shouted out, you can have everything. You can have everything, everything of my life. You can take, I give you it, it's yours. Like my dreams, my aspirations, my family, everything. It's all yours now. Everything's yours. I'm, I'm giving it to you. Um, I am yours. That's what I've basically done. And then I turned round. Now, this was something, wherever these inclinations were coming from, were well, certainly not me, I don't know. It, it was it was like it was it was being planted in my brain. So I turn around and I'm walking back to the house and I think, have I done the right thing? Did I do the right thing? That's what I thought. So I came back to the house and I went for a cup of coffee in my house and this is about three o'clock in the afternoon by now and there's the door rings and it's my son being dropped off by by someone from school and he was seven years old he comes in i go hiya and he's and he's and he's, he comes straight and hiya and he starts drawing he draws batman spider-man you know superman the flash that's all he was interested in that's all he'd ever been interested in to be honest and i go back to the kitchen looking out the window with my cup of coffee and then I, I feel within two or three minutes tugging on my sleeves I go oh yeah I, I, what is it and he goes this is for you and he hands me this drawing right so this is the drawing he hands me I when I look at it I can't quite there are no words to describe what I felt it wasn't even shock it was beyond that it was almost like my intelligence was offended because it was like some, nothing I'd ever ex heard of before. Basically, he had drawn this picture. Now, I'm hoping you get this. It says, it's a picture of Jesus. It says, my son, you done the right thing. There's Jesus. Just like it said when it spoke to me, Christ comes as a king clothed in glory. There it is, Mr. Christ. And at the bottom, you can see a little Calvary cross. So he hands this to me. And as I say, this is something. I never. This is something in the realms of the impossible. I've never heard of anything like. What I can't get my head. Up, you know what is going on. I said to him, "Why did you do that?" And he went, "I don't know." And then he just went back again to what he's doing. So. I was. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know what. It's like. Uh, I kind of like thought. What? What? And I realised that God was saying, this is real. You've really done this. This has really happened. So then and there, it was more a case that this amazing thing has just happened to me and I'm trying to kind of get my head around it. But by the time I woke up the next morning, I was a different person. It's like something had happened. And basically, 
all the stuff, all the grime and the crud and the stuff from my whole life up to that point, which we all carry around, had just been wiped away. It was like I was an entirely new person with a whole fresh outlook. It was like everything had been removed, washed, forgiven, passed over. It was just like, that's it. I felt something just like completely like a child, like just right inside. Just a kind of sense that I'm where I'm meant to be. And that's how I became a Christian. That was the basic thing, you know. After that, when I met other believers, I just felt this kinship, this thing, this connection with them. And um, so that's really how I got saved. That's how I became a Christian. So I hope that's an encouragement to you. May Jesus bless you.